Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, Update Helltech Wi-Fi Laura 32 V3 Latest Info, I got this comment asking about, hey, what happens when you get this error that says Helltech requires a license? Do you have, a, do you know a way around this? And I actually did a quick Google search, gave them a link to the article, but then I thought, you know, that's a good video topic. I've never encountered this before, and I'd like to see if we can reproduce the problem. Well, certainly running Meshtastic on your Helltech V3, that overwrites the flash. <laughs> We're going to see that in a second. And basically, when you overwrite the flash, then you lose your Helltech LoRa license. Yeah, see, here's uh, Meshtastic, Flasher, Erase Flash. Yeah, that's going to erase the flash. Yeah, if you do a full erase and install, yeah and that's going to wipe out that license key. So when you go back from Meshtastic back to Arduino, you're going to have to do this. When you hook up to upload in Arduino, make sure to hold that boot button when you plug in the USB port, otherwise Meshtastic's just going to run. Yeah, so you see here, yeah, I've got the problem. Pro provide a correct license, and for more information, go here. And uh, I don't know, but we do see the chip ID, though. So let's see what we need to do to fix the problem here. We definitely have the problem. So how to use the license? The license is generated by the chip ID through a special algorithm used for the LoRa code related to Helltech. Now once the device is activated, you don't need to activate it again unless you erase the flash, which we did with Meshtastic. You can see here, yeah, my problem looks just like that. How to obtain the license? You go to this URL resource, helltech.cn slash search. So let's go see if we can get our key. Yeah, I don't know. It was flipping around. It took me a second here to highlight one of the keys. <laughs> here we go. Come on, you can do it. I'll just take that one then. All right, copy that. Now let's go over to that resource, helltech.cn search. Paste that in there. There's my license key. Now, how to get it back onto the Helltech V3. I'm going to copy that. Yeah, and there was this other note in uh, GitHub comments, the AT plus CD key, you have to strip out the OX and the comma. Yeah, I didn't know how to do it via source code. There's commands missing in their picture there, and I couldn't find any clue. So we're going to use the AT plus CD key equals our license code and activate it through serial monitor in Arduino IDE. And again, they make no mention of taking out the OX, they just kind of demonstrate it here. And you know, if you're like me, you're working really fast, you don't pick these things up <laughs> very easily right away. Yeah, so yeah, definitely I wanna demonstrate here, you take these out, the comma OX, comma OX, zero X, forgive me, not, I'll get 10 comments, so it's zero, not O. <laughs> and you wind up with this string, of just the 32 characters that were actually the license code. So that's my actual license code there. I'm gonna blur it out so you don't paste it in yours and get confused. Paste it right here in the serial monitor. There we go. Now we hit enter and you see right away, board is activated. It's activated. <laughs> okay, and you see now we're sending hello world packets on Laura. Okay, so that was successful. Now there was another article, how to get the chip ID. We didn't have to do that because we saw it in Arduino IDE, but there is example code on GitHub that would do that. Again, we didn't need to because we saw the key right there. Anyway, I hope that answers the question for the friend of the channel. Look for the link down below to this article and give this video a like. Leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32 videos, or my Meshtastic videos for that matter, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.